Having a healthy pregnancy and then a healthy baby is the goal of most expectant mothers. But when drugs like opiates are involved, that may cause complications. There's been a rapid increase in the number of mothers using opiates at the time of delivery and the number of babies exhibiting signs of drug withdrawal. That withdrawal is known as neonatal abstinence syndrome. Common symptoms that babies exhibit after they're born are things like irritability, difficulty with feeding, difficulty breathing. We also know that babies with neonatal abstinence syndrome are more likely to be born low birth weight. Dr. Stephen Patrick from the University of Michigan Health System and co-authors reviewed hospital billing data from across the U.S. Researchers examined the number of mothers using opiates at the time of delivery and also whether their newborns exhibited drug withdrawal symptoms. What we found was that from 2000 to 2009, the number of babies having drug withdrawal increased by three times. The study is published online first by JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. In addition, we found that the number of mothers using opiates at the time of delivery went up by five-fold. Common opiates include oxycodone and Vicodin, as well as illicit drugs like heroin. The cost of treating these infants also increased over the study period. Overall, these babies tend to have more complex and more costly hospital stays on average than all other hospital uh, births. Researchers also say that four out of five of these babies are enrolled in state Medicaid programs across the country. States are in a, in a unique position to be innovative in solutions to decrease the number of opiates that are, that are used in a state and make care more efficient for babies after they're born. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.